There's an old saying, and a very true one, of all the fish that swim the sea, the herring is the king. Most people, quite rightly, look upon herrings as a tasty and inexpensive dish. But there are others who use them as a form of, well, exercise and find their bones a bit of a nuisance. There's no reason why the herring should present this difficulty at all. If the herring you're eating wasn't burned before being cooked, plump it up on the plate and slit it along the back like this. It will then fall apart and the backbone can be lifted neatly out with the sideburns adhering to it. Another way, and a very good way too, is to burn the herring before you cook it. First of all, scale the fish. You can either use a pair of kitchen scissors for this, or a sharp knife. Then cut off the back fin. To clean the fish, cut the head nearly through. A gentle pull will then sever the head and clean the fish. Now for the burning. If you're using scissors, you cut neatly down the underside, so. Now lift out the row. And open up the fish with your thumb. First of all, lift up the side bones. See that they come away on both sides, like this. By inserting your thumb in the head end, you will find that the backbone comes away easily, bringing the side bones with it and without disturbing the flesh. That's important, so let's see it done again. Cut down the underside. Lift out the row. Open up with your thumb. Lift up the side bones and pull away the backbone. Here's another way of burning a herring, with a knife. Cut the herring down the back. You then pull up the bone from the tail end, again taking care that the side bones come away with it. Your herring is now cleaned and boned. By the way, it's a good idea to wrap up the bones and waste as you go along. That keeps your kitchen clean and free from smell. Now wash your herrings in water, drying them on a clean cloth. Put back the rows. Salt. Pepper. And sprinkle with a little chopped parsley to give added taste. Fold them over and your herrings are ready for cooking. Many people say they would serve herrings more often if it weren't for the smell. But if you bake them, there's no need to get any smell at all. Just try it this way. First grease your baking tin with margarine paper. Put the herrings into the tin. Sprinkle with breadcrumbs.
and salt and cover over with margarine paper. Then put the dish into a moderate oven and bake for 10 minutes, keeping the oven door shut. There's no smell this way. Take the dish out again at the end of that time. Remove the greaseproof paper and bake for another five minutes without it. There is still no smell. And your baked herrings are now nicely browned and ready to be eaten in comfort. You can make them look even more appetizing on a table by garnishing them with a little parsley. Herrings are one of the best and cheapest foods. It may be news to you that you can cook a herring without smell and without trouble with the bones. But try it like this and see for yourselves.